Hey everybody, welcome back to Bruce's Bees. I'm excited to show you uh, something today. I've got a new product that I ordered from uh, Rob at Laurel Bees. If you look back on my channel back in the spring, I ordered this thing right here. It's a Laurel Bees oxalic acid vaporizer gun. Very effective, very heavy duty, works great. But this video is, really isn't a review of that. If you wanna go back and watch that video, you can see how it works and you can see me break down uh, how I like it and, and you can see it in action and actually a couple of my videos. But there is a particular type of hide that's very difficult to utilize a vaporizer gun for. Rob came up with a solution for that. I think he has some of these, it's the Apimay hive. You'll see it kind of right over there in my backyard. I have one of those, I really like the, the hive. Um, I, need to, I would like to get some more. I haven't figured out how to utilize the vaporizer gun for it, but Rob came up with a solution. So let me turn this uh, camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Before we do that though, I'd appreciate if you go down below and hit that like button and help get this video out to more people. I did want to mention though, uh, here is a box of H700 towels. Uh, it's my preferred method for helping with beetle control. Steve Crapo sent this to me. He's a, a fan of the channel. He lives very close to where my wife grew up in Utah. We were out there visiting and he came over and visited me with me one afternoon and I guess he saw the issues I was having and, and graciously sent me a box of these towels. I'll definitely put these to you, Steve. I really appreciate it. But here's the plate we're going to use to treat this after May Hive with this afternoon. Really well built, heavy duty. It's made out of metal here. And the idea is you, you take out the, the tray from the bottom of the Apime hive, you slide this a plate in there, and it's got a hole right here for application of the oxalic acid. So I'm going to go get set up over there. We're going to treat a standard, a regular hive, and then we'll see how this thing works on the Apime hive. Okay, here's a standard hive we're going to do this on. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the machine on here. Switch right here, which I really like. We'll see the temperature will go up and we want this thing to get up to uh, 400 plus degrees. You can see right here it's set on 400 degrees. Okay, I got a towel in the front entrance there. It's over 400 degrees. There's our oxalic acid. There's a hole down here. I believe it's a quarter inch hole. I already made sure it was uh, cleaned out good. So this is how you treat a standard beehive. You take this thing right here. You put it down over the oxalic acid. Come around behind the hive. Stick it in the back. Flip it over. Tap the, tap the acid down in there. So the temperature drop way down. And we'll just let this thing climb back up to over 400 degrees and we'll know it's, it's ready to go. Getting real close. Now we're up to 400 degrees plus. We can just go ahead and take it out. If you look down here, you see the vapor coming out. See that? So that hive is treated. I'm trying to do this one handed here. All right, now we'll move over to that for my hive. Okay, I've got a little situation here. Um, when I Put these hive stands in before i had this fma hive i put them a little too close to the fence here and so i'm gonna have to kind of turn the hive a little bit so i can get the plate in i got it turned just kind of rotated it around and uh, you can see on these fma hives there's a lot of little holes down here in the front for the bees to go in and out of i don't you can slide those things together but the bees have it propolized i'm not going to worry about that you can also close these little entrances here what i think i'm going to do is close this one man i got it okay yeah we got it but i'm going to leave this one open on purpose so we can see when the oxalic acid comes out of there although i'm looking at it and they might have that thing propolized up so i don't know if we'll see any or not but i'm kind of eager to see how this works so let's get started just take this bottom tray and you pull it out this just has some old diatomaceous earth in it, which was designed to kill any beetles or anything that fell in it. I have to replace that. And take this plate in here, and just slide it in like this. Now, if you have a stand that goes back past the edge of the Apame hive, you'll need to slide it back a little bit. I did that, as you can tell up there. Um, it's pretty easy with these FMA hives though, because they do have the handles. It's pretty easy to move them around. And you just take your, get your oxalic acid vapor, like this. Just 
stick it in the hole very easily. Perfect, Just fits perfectly. Flip it upside down. Temperature drops. Man, that's so easy, I really like that. And if you can see, I think one reason that Rob extended this section right here down that far is so that this will catch on there and it won't be hanging down beneath that. So if you have Appie May hives and you want to utilize the Laura Bees vaporizer, or honestly, any oxalic acid vaporizer gun that uses this type of a technique, I think that plate is a good thing to have. And it'll last, I mean, I think it'll last you forever. You can see the vapor starting to sneak out there a little bit around the edges. Let's go and see if anything's coming out of the front. Oh yeah, we got some coming out of the front here. I see a little vapor coming up here out of this corner. So I don't think I had enough uh, oxalic acid the first go around, so I added a little bit more and it's coming up through there a little bit. this out. I'll come back and clean the tray later. The tray back in. Move on to the next one. Well that's it. Quick and easy. I definitely think if you have Epimay hives and if you want to use an oxalic acid vaporizer gun that would be a great idea to buy that Laurel Bees plate to go in there. I think it would really make the job a lot easier. So I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, to my original video where I talked about uh, the Laura Bees vaporizer. And also I'm gonna put a link uh, to the Laura Bees website where you can go and check it out more if you're interested in it. So that was kind of fun. I appreciate y'all watching it. And uh, I'm gonna flip this thing around and show you possibly my favorite Father's Day gift of all time here to close out this video. Y'all take care and be safe.